Hey, this is Amanda with Pure Fix TV. Have you ever wondered about your gear ratio? What is it, and how does it affect your bike? Today, we're gonna find out. Your bike has a front gear called the chain ring and a rear gear called the rear sprocket or cog. Each of these has a different amount of teeth on them which is represented as your gear ratio. It's written like this with the first number being the number of teeth on the chain ring and the second number is the amount of teeth on the cog. There are all sorts of combinations, so which one is best for you? To help pick out your gear, a really handy tool is a gear inch calculator. You can find these by searching online. You enter the size of your chain ring and the size of your cog, and it spits out how many gear inches you are pushing. The higher the number, the harder it is to push, but your bike goes farther with each pedal stroke. The lower the number, the easier it is to pedal, but you won't be going as far per stroke. So, generally speaking, a mid-range gear ratio would be about 70 gear inches. If you're trying to smash on a flat road or go downhill, go with something, go with a higher ratio, something around 80 gear inches or maybe even more. If you're climbing hills, you want a lower ratio, something under 70 gear inches. If you want to reach a higher top speed, the easiest way to do this would be to switch out the rear cog for a smaller one. Again, this makes it more difficult to pedal, but your top speed will be higher. I hope that that cleared some things up for you guys, and if you have any questions, and I bet you guys do, just drop them below or hit us up on Twitter at PureFixTV. Until next time, I'll see you in the streets.